Well, hello everyone. Welcome to DIY Design by CCW and thank you so much for clicking on my video. Well, as you can see, I have several thrifted bases here. My favorite shape, ginger jars, uh, and I'm going to be doing a DIY for you today. I'm hoping to make these jars into a set. I also have a little Dollar Tree uh, cylinder that I'll be using as well. Now, I'll be working with some paint today. Now, these are new colors. This is a multi-surface paint by Folk Art, this first color, in white pearl. I also have uh, an outdoor paint in 24 karat gold. I'll be working with some Mod Podge and Mod Podge sealer and a little bit of glitter. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get these pieces cleaned up off camera and we're going to jump right into the DIY. Now, just in case this is the first time that you're watching the, uh, me do this, I do want to share a little bit of information with you just in case you would like to uh, try your hand at painting glass. First of all, when I mentioned that I was cleaning the pieces up off camera, one thing that I always do is clean the pieces after they're washed and dried. Uh, I then clean them with alcohol. That way, the paint will adhere a little bit better. Again, that's an important step, and I wouldn't skip it if you're going to paint glass. Also, you want to use a brush that says it's made for acrylic. Now, I'll leave the name of the brush I'm using today down in my description box. Also, you want to keep your brush strokes as even as possible. Now, in order to get the look that I want here, I'm going to have to do two to three coats. And I want these coats to be, uh, you know, the first coat to be very light and again, even as possible by keeping the brush strokes, you know, going in the same direction. You don't want to overload the paint. If you do, your, your uh, end product will be a little bit lumpy, may have some streaks in it, and just won't be the, you know, the nice smooth satin finish, you know, that, uh, that you're hoping to achieve. Now, you may wonder why I paint the outside of the glass rather than the inside of the glass. When you paint the inside, it does give you that beautiful finish. However, I do like to use my pieces for storage and, and uh, I use them on my vanity. I use them in my, my uh, restroom. I may use them in my kitchen. So I prefer to do my painting on the outside. And I've done this enough now that I've kind of perfected a technique that allows me to get the smooth finish that I want. All right, now, um, also, while you're watching me do this, this video is a part of a collaboration. I'm a member of a wonderful group uh, called the Home Decor Lux Club. Now, we come together every quarter and do a seasonal uh, collaboration for you. This month and every Saturday this month, we've been bringing you our Tis the Season collaboration. Now, the members of the club are Glam Elegant Living, Creations by Simone, The Rogers House, DIY Design by CCW, of course that's me, Amistice Adventures, The Grace Life DIY Home Decor, and Miriam Creative Corner. All right, guys, I'll be back when we get to the next part of the DIY. Next uh, step, what I'm going to do is paint an accent color on the pieces. Um, now, I decided to actually change the paint. I was going to use a different color, but I am going to go ahead and use this pure gold number 871. It's also a folk art paint. It's a beautiful metallic paint and it gives me the shade um, that I'm, I was looking for. So I'm basically just gonna paint the bottoms, then I'll carefully go around and accent uh, the sides of the pieces. I'll, I'll, I will also paint the tops as well. And then when that's done, I'll go ahead and move on to the next part of the DIY.
All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and start on the Mod Podge and uh, the Mod Podge and the glitter treatment. And again, I'm working with this beautiful glitter. Uh, it's a little different than your normal glitter. Uh, it's a slightly different material. And uh, I really like, you know, how it looks and, and how it turns out. Um, and it's made by Spin It. Again, I will link that video, that down in the description box. And you can also purchase it. Uh, there'll be a link at the beginning of the bit at the video if you'd like to purchase it. All right. Now, uh, so this is a really easy thing, basically. I mix the glitter right into the Mod Podge and I'm just going to apply it to all of the peanut surfaces, uh, the white peanut surfaces of the base. Um, now this is something if you know you want to, you could certainly just do part of the vase, maybe, or the, the pieces, and maybe only do the glitter, maybe on the bottom half. Um, I chose to do the entire, you know, surface of all the pieces, of course, except for the gold accents, and, um, you know, and, and that's it. Now, once everything dries, I'll come back and use the Mod Podge Ultra Sealer, um, although pretty much by doing it this way, you're not going to have a lot of glitter fall or anything like that, but I still came back or still like to come back over it and seal it just to make sure, you know, if I want to wash the pieces or anything like that, I want to make sure that uh, my glitter is locked in. So once I'm done with this, I'll come back and accent the tops of the pieces because I did do the bottom but I wanted to do the glitter first and then I'll come back and add uh, a little accent paint to the tops of each uh, of the pieces and uh, that's it guys so I'm gonna stop talking for a little bit let you watch me work on the the DIY and I'll be back when we get to another part of the video
So now that my pieces are sealed, I'm going to go ahead and make lids. Now if you're new to the channel, this will be new for you. If you're one of my longtime followers, first of all, thank you so much. Um, but I usually make lids for most of my pieces. That makes them more versatile. And I do like to make them multi-purpose, use them for storage and, and things like that. So uh, for, this, for these lids, I'm going to use uh, a combination of some wooden uh, circles or, or discs as well as some cake boards just to get the right size that I want and so that I don't have to do any cutting or shaping or anything like that. So to get the thickness that I want for the smaller lids, I'm gluing together or have glued together uh, or will glue together three wooden discs. And for the cake boards, uh, I will glue together two. And these are four inch uh, cake boards. Now, uh, then you saw me using a little of the, the uh, same paint that I used on the trim. Uh, and uh, I'll just, you know, use a little ribbon and uh, some trim around the edges add some mirrors and some crystal knobs and voila the lids will be done Alright, so now it's time for the finishing touches. Now, for the embellishments for these pieces, I'm keeping it really, really simple because of the, uh, you know, glitter treatment and the Mod Podge and the paint, uh, the two-tone paint. I thought that maybe I would tone down uh, the embellishments a little bit, and I think I like how it turned out, but you guys let me know what you think. So I'm just going to be working with this faux uh, gold uh, leather uh, trim, very inexpensive. Uh, I think you can get maybe eight to ten yards of this for less than three dollars and just some good old-fashioned uh, regular bling wrap as I call it very affordable and uh, as you can see I just placed a strip down the center now um, oh, for this smaller Dollar Tree container now I'm gonna add a single brooch and that's it this piece is done now for all three of the ginger jar shaped containers that are part of the set um, I basically did the same uh, the same embellishments so I'm just going to show you the one piece because they're all identical but basically what I did is put a strip uh, around the uh, neck or rim of the piece also, I used uh, more of the faux gold uh, leather trim around the, the bottom or the foot area and, uh, and I, I added one single brooch and then that was it. The pieces were done. Right, now for the base, I'm going to keep it really simple as well. I'm using uh, a little bit of this gold duct tape beneath the uh, regular bling wrap, as I call it, that I'm going to put around the waist area of the vase. And uh, that way it'll add just a little bit more pop and shine. Uh, then I will trim out the uh, fabric trim, or rather the bling wrap, that uh, I placed around the, the um, belt area with a little more of the faux leather trim. 
and uh, then I'll also put some of that around the uh, foot or the bottom area of the vase and uh, add my one little impact statement. Um, now the brooches that I'm working with today, again, very affordable. They come from Joanne Fabric. Uh, they're connected brooches. They come in a um, they come in a, uh, a three pack basically. And uh, what I do to get the brooches to lie flat is use some wire cutters to remove the back, you know, parts. Uh, of the brooch that kind of stick out then that way the brooch will lay flat against my piece also while you're watching me th do this and before we get to the final reveal I do want to say a special thank you to my channel members uh, some of you have been with me quite a while such as Kim Ceylon Bell I really appreciate you also one of my best friends here on YouTube and that's Sherry and uh, also there's Lori, uh, Lori, Shanta, uh, Brown, there's I've got some new members as well, uh, HJ Rennie and DMS and I just thank you so much uh, for your support. You, Because of you, I'm able to continue to do what I do. And uh, I'll be bringing you new content in the new year as I grow out that member content. Um, I like to start doing a monthly live for you. And maybe if you would, guys, let me know. Send me a message. What kind of content would you as channel members like to see? Now, I also thank all of my supporters. You've been fantastic. I never thought that this little channel would ever get to this size. And it still just really, um, just really means so much to me that so many of you choose to watch the videos. And I thank you so much. And if I don't talk to you again before the end of the year, please have a wonderful Merry Christmas and a happy new year all right guys so this is the vase this is how it turned out and this is the final reveal you know what i do like this set it's very affordable um i think this whole set maybe was about 15 dollars um it, it maybe not even that much with the embellishments and everything so uh there you go there's a close-up look of the at the lids and you know, I think this would make a nice, hol a nice Christmas gift. Um, it'll be a beautiful piece, I think, for holiday decor, maybe even for the New Year's. But you can probably use this all year round. It's not holiday specific. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not a member of the channel, I hope you'll decide to do that. And please subscribe as well. And. Uh, I hope you'll visit my other channels. DIY Design by CCW is my main channel, but I have Tablescapes by Candy as well and the Glam Decor channel. So again, thank you for watching, and I can't wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video. Bye-bye.